Hey there, this is a short video to show you how I remotely mounted the fuel valve in my Sling 4. So task number one was to loosely place the instrument panel dash in place. Um, it's kind of hard to get it in just right because normally you wouldn't install this until much later in the build when the canopy's uh, installed. So after looking at a bunch of pictures, kind of get an idea how it uh, lines up relative to the skin, I think I've got it in mostly the right spot. So to do this, I bought uh, from Andair over in England this remote fuel valve, uh, which is similar to the one that's provided in the kit, uh, but instead of having the valve directly behind the dash, I now have it in a bracket just behind the dash with a little extension rod that goes up to the fuel selector uh, handle. So the handle is in exactly the same spot as it would be in the Sling 4, but the valve is now located down here. And I did that because the solid fuel lines are going to run through the center channel here and it'll be a lot easier to mount them to this fuel selector valve located here than if it's up here on the dash. Um, but my bracket seems to be working well. Um, here's a, you can see it turning just like it normally would as if it were installed on the dash. So it looks like I was pretty successful. The other thing to know about this uh, fuel selector valve, I got it directly from Andair and um, because of that, I was able to order a version that has these AN6 flare fittings built into it uh, rather than what's provided in the kit, which is uh, NPT fittings, I believe, to which you must at attach adapters uh, for barb fittings. Uh, I can skip all that now and just go straight to the solid fuel line with the flared ends. So that's it for this video. Thanks.